Joe, Nick, Kevin, it is so cool to have you back in Dublin. Thank last you. last time you were here, totally different vibe going on, totally different look going oh, yeah. on. When you look back at yourselves then, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I, I remember I drank <laughs> a lot of Guinness last time I was here. Did you? I plan on doing the same thing, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what was the last time like? Because, Joe, I read a quote from you where you said, you know, you'd be talking about interviews and you said, we'd, we'd flinch if asked about dating and things like that. We were so scared. We felt like something was going to take it down any minute. What's it like? Oh, mm. well, it was over 10 years ago. So yeah. It feels like a different lifetime. Um, but we're so thrilled to be back here, you know, as adults and be able to do this on our own terms and, and, and be able to see the familiar faces again. I mean, for all of these fans, even the ones we met during meet and greet, they all have grown up so much as well. It's really special. It must be special for your folks as well, because not because you guys are in the public eye, but when you see your sons split and do their own thing. I mean, last week we put up a tweet about you guys and it was about to win uh, the Plan B Single of the Week. Your dad retweeted it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, nice. That's so cool. Love um, the support. Yeah, what were they like when you told them, you know what, we're going our separate ways and then things did affect stuff personally? Yeah, I mean, I think for, for our parents, it, they have always been really supportive of us. Obviously, I think any parent, they want the best for their children. They want their their sons and daughters to get along. So when they see us having arguments or they see us not getting along, especially when we, for the, what we love to do, that was yeah. really difficult for them. But look, they, they also understood that we were grown men and we were making these decisions on our own. And um, they supported that, which was really helpful. And, and like you see, our dad is very supportive still and, and retweeting fans all over the world. <laughs> yeah. And Nick, you come to the boys and you go, this is it. We're going to get back together. Why? What, what, what had changed? Um, I think that it was a combination of things. I think that, you know, at, at the core, just missing being around my best friends. You know, that's, yeah. that's one of the main things. And also, I think there's something special about when we're together that kind of can't be denied. And whatever benchmarks I had set on a personal level and on, on the career side of things when I was doing my solo stuff, uh, when I would check those boxes and, uh, you know, reach those goals, I, I still didn't feel that fulfillment I felt when I was working with them. So I think it was about just seeing if we could do it again in a healthy way and, and luckily, um, you know, it all worked out and we were able to have some of those tough conversations that that um, certainly, you know, made this go around even sweeter than last time. So you get back together and the biggest thing is, oh my God, I don't want the secret coming out. The secret <laughs> doesn't come out, Kevin, <laughs> until your daughter. What does she do? Um, yeah, well, my daughter kept telling her everyone in her school that she was going to, you know, be going back on tour with her dad. Well, no one knew why. Well, it was the Jonas Brothers coming back. So luckily it didn't get too far, but we kept the secret intact until we released Sucker, which was nice. And then what was it like the very first time, not on stage, but the very first time that the three of you were back together in the room as the Jonas Brothers? It was special. I remember in Cuba we started playing some old songs acoustically together. In this big open foyer was uh, gorgeous and just falling back into the harmonies again and, and, and we can we immediately can had that reconnection it felt like you know what this is this is why we're doing it and yeah. it, it was it was really beautiful on youtube there's like thousands of comments the one that stood out to me was someone wrote other bands disband after getting married jonas brothers assemble the band after getting married and have the their wives join how cool is it to have them part of the band unofficially but officially <laughs> uh it's great i mean they, they are an incredible addition much much prettier than us so um, <laughs> works out works out nice talking about the wives could i do a quick fire round with you guys sure, sure. based on your single which i'm absolutely loving loving thank you very much the thank films you. you chose all my faith thank you yeah so uh, what a man's got to do what do you have to do to annoy your girl to annoy oh wow um, I don't annoy my wife at all. <laughs> Not true. Wow. Oh, I'd love impressive. to know your yeah. secrets, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Uh, probably if I'm a little distracted, whether on my phone or playing a video game. And oh, you're one of those. One of those? <laughs> Everybody has those days. Come yeah. on. Yeah. What about to embarrass your girl? Oh, what do you have to do to embarrass I never embarrass my <laughs> You are the ideal, Nick, yeah? Mm hmm. <laughs> you should ask her that same question. Yeah. <laughs> same answer. Uh, to get your girl to forgive you? Ooh, um, being honest about the situation, right? Like, good. like laying it all out there and just yeah. explaining it all, communicating. Write a song. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Write an album. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, to surprise your girl. We travel so much that I think flying in to surprise them yeah, yeah. when they're not expecting yeah. it is probably yeah. the best. Anytime bet. you don't expect to see them and we show up, it's, it's always good. I love that you called your documentary Chasing Happiness. This tour is called Happiness Begins. What makes you happy? What's your definition of happiness? 
I think time with the ones you love and, and doing something that you love yeah. uh, is, to me, the, the kind of true meaning of happiness. And we've been really, really fortunate to be, to be in that spot, to be with people we love, doing what we love, and having amazing fans that support us and continue to make those dreams a reality every day. Well, we love, we're all happy that Thank you guys you. are Thank here. You Thank you so much. so much for Appreciate joining it. us. Good to see Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Turn it up. Big stars, events, and hit music now. This is Plan B with Serena Bellissimo. Spin 1038.